Welcome back. This is Michelle again with our next lesson. We're going to start a little different this time, and we are actually going to, I'm actually on the Duxbury website, and I want to kind of look at what Duxbury is as a whole. And Duxbury Systems, this is what the website is saying, leads the world in software for Braille. The Duxbury Braille Translator is used by virtually all the world's leading Braille publishers. No one sports more languages than Duxbury System. DBT supports grade one and grade two, translation in English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, lots of different languages. Our software can produce contracted or uncontracted Braille, mathematics, and technical Braille. So in its basic form, it's a software that will translate. So I'm going to close that out real quick. And we talked about the pros and cons as far as typing directly into Duxbury. You can, but again, it doesn't catch your mistakes. So preparing the Word file in Microsoft Word is very important. Then importing that to Duxbury, and then we're going to edit, and then lastly we're going to translate and we're going to emboss. So those are the three basic things that Duxbury needs to do. We're going to, last time we saved our things we worked on, and again we had the P for print, B for the braille. This right here I want us to show because this is the LBF, this is the one that's for that refreshable braille so I wouldn't be able to open it on my computer so I just wanted to show you what it looks like again when you're saving the different files so we're gonna cancel that and we are going to open a new page now here's where Duxbury starts to you can start focusing and making things specific for you Every time, the last two times we had to come, we had to select by hand, or by mouse, the English UEB Vanna. Well, now that that's highlighted, I'm going to use this button right here, Mark Template as Default. So now, every time I open, that's going to be the default. So I'm going to say OK. And it's going to give me a new file which is, whoops, right here. But I want to show that, so we're going to open one more new one. And now that that's our default template, every single solitary time we're going to open, we can just start working. We don't have to move it around. We don't have to scroll up and down. It's going to be what is selected. So we're going to go OK. Now, we still have our story from last time, and I want to show that basically if we copy and paste, boom, we're good. But what I wanted to do to show a little bit more, we are going to play around with, well, now I'm doing two paragraphs plus the title. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy, control C. And then I'm going to select the Duxbury and I'm going to control V, which is how we um, paste. Now again, if you look at it, there's not much formatting here. This is still, this is indented, but this one isn't. Neither is, and our title had been centered, but now it's no longer centered. So we're going to learn how to center a title. We are going to go to that line where, the, where it starts, going back to layout, going back to apply styles. Now, I could scroll all the way up and down, but that would take a long time. If I use my keyboard and just start typing C-E-N, it comes up for centered. So if I, and I'm going to show you today, we're going to do a running head too. If I want running head, I could do, oh, I'll show you, RN, and it'll come up. If I want to do, make sure I have my lines that it's going to start in cell three, I could do, oops, oops running head, do quote, 
I could do three one if I just started typing three. If I just wanted to do one, oops. it's trying to not be nice to me right now. I could do one one. So again, we're going to do sender. So I'm just going to type in C E. Kind of like I need to click off something. C E, and that's going to be centered. And then I'm going to be I'm going to click OK. And now this title is centered. Not only is it going to be centered in print, but when we trans when we translate it, it's going to be centered in Braille as well. And just like we know that if we're typing things over, if we're transcribing things over in Braille, we're going to try to follow the print as much as possible. So since the second part, addition to um, to the episode five, is centered, we're going to come back again to that line. Now this time, since the first one is centered, all I have to do is apply last style. And now that also is centered. Now if it gets to a point where this is going to be multiple pages, I want a running head. Now I don't want to necessarily have to go back and add that each time. I can highlight the fact that this is what I want. Level of comfort is what I want for my running head. Go to my layout, go to apply style. I'm just going to start typing running head and do OK. So now every page, it's only on one page right now, but every page of text is going to have, excuse me, running head, uh, the running head of level of comfort. And I think I want to show that a little bit more, so I'm going to copy a few more whoops, paragraphs so I just dumped more as far as text in there so we can actually see that it will get to another page so we can show the running head and you see this is not formatted it's just a blob of text so we're going to come up here to summary, I'm going to highlight everything, go to layout. I don't want to apply the last one. I want to actually do three where we start in cell three and we over, we all the overflow goes on um, cell one. And now you can see all of that is formatted. Okay. So if and next we would translate and it tells you down here we have three pages right now we're on line 12 of page 3 we're in column 19 so I'm gonna go to the top of that page and we have our running head level of comfort Let's go to page two. We go to page two. We have level of we have level of comfort is our running head. There's no space, just like you would just like the, you're supposed to format. And we are ready to go. Now we can oops, add a space because we're supposed to between the title um, and the first line. We're gonna skip that space and it's ready to go. So this lesson we've learned how it looks by the different ways that we save things. We learned how to set default templates so that every single solitary time we don't have to we don't have to customize each time we can do it once and it's going to remember so it's going to save us time. We've taken lots of text, we showed how to do a running head, and we showed how to center under layout. Again, thanks for watching. If this information has been helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up that you liked it, as well as subscribe to the channel and ring that bell if you haven't already done that. So each and every time we have new content, you won't miss anything. You have a great night. Bye-bye.